In this video, I'm going to show you how apples can blow up a Coke bottle. Please refrain from repeating these experiments. You will see many reasons why in the following minutes. I know blowing up Coke bottles with apples sounds completely absurd, but I will explain the science behind it. All we are going to need is a Coke bottle and some apples. The bigger the Coke bottle, the more fun the experiment is going to be, obviously. Now, in order to speed this up significantly, a blender and some yeast are really going to help with this, but they are not strictly necessary. All we need to do is put the apples in the coke bottle, so it really helps blending them beforehand. In order to speed up the natural processes, I will add some yeast while blending. This is certainly not necessary, but it will reduce the time you have to wait by a couple of days. Apples naturally contain yeast, but only a small amount, so all I'm doing is speeding up the natural process by some additional yeast. I found quite an elegant way to get the apples inside the coke bottle without making a mess by using a plastic bag. Oops. Okay, didn't go exactly as intended the first time. But luckily I learned from my mistake the second time I did it. Oh well, how do they say, third time's the charm. Because it is really cold outside and I don't want explosions inside the house, I'm going to have to warm the bottle with some water and a hot plate. This would be completely unnecessary during summer, but I can't change the seasons. On the time lapse you can see the bottle slowly swelling up until it finally explodes quite spectacularly. This took about 7 hours to happen. I've just put my cameras way too close to the explosion, so they get completely covered in applesauce. Also, the window has gotten a little bit messy, so in order to scare you from repeating the experiment, I'm going to make you watch me clean the window now. Now, how is it possible that something as harmless as some apples, combined with a coke bottle, can cause such a violent explosion? In order to explain that, I'm going to set up another experiment where I'm going to dissolve some sugar and yeast in water. I had to use another hot plate for the experiment, because the first one has taken quite a beating, but it doesn't matter, I have more hot plates. Now you can see that the sugar water bottle reacts pretty much exactly the same way as the bottle filled with apple. That is because the yeast eats the sugar that is naturally contained in the apple and ferments it to CO2 and ethanol shown by the reaction on screen. CO2 is a gas which takes up a much larger volume than available in the bottle. That causes the pressure in the bottle to increase until it reaches about 10 atmospheres, which makes the bottle rupture spectacularly. This reaction only happens at room temperature or above, that's why I'm using a hot plate during winter. The reaction happened a lot faster this time, only after like 3 to 4 hours. That is because of the new hot plate, the water was a couple degrees higher. This time I got lucky and the window stayed clean, but it also wasn't too good for my hot plate. You can even see a piece flying off in slow motion. Now for the grand finale, I decided to take a bunch of smaller bottles and also fill them with the apple yeast mixture. They all went off after like 4 hours. But after the fourth explosion, the last two bottles got exploded out of the water. Because it was so cold outside, the reaction from the yeast got pretty much quenched immediately, so they didn't go off. Luckily, a friend was kind enough to borrow me a crossbow, so I could activate the explosions from a safe distance with my brother doing the shooting. <laughs> B. 
do your worst. He managed the high score to get the applesauce on its pants after the first explosion. And of course, afterwards I had to clean the window again. So hopefully you have enough reasons now to refrain from repeating anything you saw in this video. It made a giant mess everywhere and the second hot plate I used was completely shot afterwards. But luckily I still have more hot plates. Also this is very unpredictable and you never know when it's going to go off. So you need to make sure the surrounding area is secure. Otherwise you might get in trouble. Anyway, I hope you learned something interesting in this video. How harmless apples with coke bottles can cause enough force for a violent explosion through fermentation. If you want to see more content like that, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss it. Make sure to tell me in the comments what you think, leave a like and thanks a lot for watching.